Hello guys, in this video we will be looking at Shopify Cart API to add, update and delete items from the Shopify store using Ajax. So first of all let's see this get endpoint. Whenever we hit this get endpoint, we will get cart data in the form of JSON. A response will look like this. So if cart is empty, we will get this kind of response where we will be having empty array of the items. Let's hit this endpoint in our store currently my cart is empty if I hit this endpoint you can see uh, my Shopify store URL and uh, cart.js and currently I am getting an empty array of items because currently my cart is empty so let's see how we can add items to the cart we can use this post endpoint add.js if we scroll a little bit down we can see this example first of all we need to have a form data in the form data we can see an array of items and each item will have an id and a quantity id is the variant id that we want to add in the cart and the number of items that we want to add in cart is specified by this quantity if we don't pass this quantity by default it will be one so let's see this in action we have this form data an array of items and this item has an id this id is the variant id so currently we are using this variant id to add into the cart we can see right here we are using this add.js post method and uh, we are passing this form data in the form of json to the body of the request getting the response in the form of json we are logging this data to the console after adding to the cart we can see we are getting this items array in the response so you can see we have added this variant id to the cart and its quantity is one and now let's see the response of this endpoint let's refresh and you can see right here we have item count one and in the items array we have one cart item i'm getting this kind of response because i have installed this json formatter extension by default the response looks like this but if you install this extension you can get this pretty response so in previous example we added only one item to the cart we can also specify a list of items to add into the cart so for example if we want this variant add this id and if we want this variant we will specify this variant id so now let's add to the cart and see the response so now we added two items to the cart and uh, we are getting an array of two items and uh, if we go to our cart.js and uh, refresh the page here you can see we have three items while adding to the cart we can also specify the custom properties on the line item for example here we are specifying an engraving property on this line item so let's see this in action we have added this item to the cart and you can see in the properties of this line item uh, we are getting this engraving text and if we go to cart.js and uh, refresh the page and here you can see on this line item we are getting this engraving text on this line item okay guys now let's see how we can use this update.js to update the line item quantity add the note to the cart and also update the cart attributes uh, let's see this in action if we go to cart.js for this variant id currently we have one quantity so if we want to update the quantity of this variant uh, we can use update.js in the form data we have this updates as the key we have the variant id right here if we want to update the quantity we will specify the updated quantity uh, for example currently we want to update the quantity from one to two so we are specifying the updated quantity and uh, passing this form data in the body as a json and then getting the json response and logging the data onto the console so in the response we can see we are currently getting the total number of items uh, that are currently five so if we go to cart.js and uh, refresh the page and currently we can see we have a total item count equal to 5 and for the complete snowboard sunset we have 
the quantity 2 so if we want to delete this item from the cart we can use the same endpoint so let's see this in action we will be updating the quantity of this item to 0 if we specify 0 this item will be deleted from the cart so let's press enter so you can see currently we have three items in the array and if we go to cart.js and uh, uh, refresh the page and you can see right here we have three items and uh, for the first item we have dawn and uh, second item is powder and uh, the third item is also dawn so we can see the sunset is removed from the cart okay guys here is an important point to consider that the multiple line items can have the same variant id for example in our case the first line item has this variant id and the third line item also have the same variant id it is because for the first line item we have this custom property but for the third line item we don't have this custom property uh, so if you can have the same scenario where your multiple line items can share the same variant id you should consider the line item key to update the quantity uh, instead of variant id we can use the same endpoint to add the node to the cart and uh, let's see this in action and here you can see we have this form data with the note and this note will be added to the cart when we check out this note will be transformed into the order note so let's see this in action we are using this update endpoint here we have the form data with the note as a string so let's see and uh, refresh the page in this endpoint and here you can see we have the note on this cart if we check out uh, with this note on the cart we will see this note in the order so i have created an order uh, with the similar type of note uh, on the card let's see that order in the orders page uh, we can see right here in this order we have a note right here if we hover over the note we can see this handle with care if we open this order and uh, see right here in the notes we, we have the same note right here and this note was added uh, using update.js uh, to the card and uh, that card note is transformed into the order note okay guys here is an important point to consider that the multiple line items can have the same variant id for example in our case the first line item has this variant id and the third line item also have the same variant id it is because for the first line item we have this custom property but for the third line item we don't have this custom property uh, so if you can have the same scenario where your multiple line items can share the same variant id you should consider the line item key to update the quantity uh, instead of variant id we can also use this syntax to update the quantity of the line items for example if we have uh, three line items and we want to update the quantity of the first line item to three second line item will have the quantity equal to two and the third line item will have quantity equal to one so let's see this in action for the first line item we have one quantity and similarly for the second and for the third we also have one quantity in total we have three quantity if we use the same syntax we can use uh, the update.js and in the updates we can send an array currently we have three line items so we'll be using an array of three items so if we want to update the line item quantity of the first uh, let's make it three and uh, now refresh the page and we can see currently we have five items into the card the first line item has quantity equal to three okay guys now let's see how we can use the change.js previously we saw that uh, we can use update.js to update the multiple lines uh, multiple line items at once but with change.js we can update uh, the single line item at once we can use id uh, variant id uh, to update the quantity uh, to update the line item or we can also use uh, the line item key to update the line item or also we can use this line uh, property uh, to update the line item so let's see this in action for example first line item has quantity equal to three so if we want to update the uh, quantity of the first line item to four let's see how we can use that so here uh, in the form data we can see we have a line property we are targeting the first line and uh, we will uh, we want to update its quantity uh, from 3 to uh, 4 we'll be using 4 right here and uh, we are using change dot js endpoint and uh, sending the form data into the body as json and uh, 
getting the JSON response and logging the data in console. So let's see this in action. So go to this uh, this endpoint and uh, refresh, and we can see the quantity of first line item is updated to four. And uh, similarly, if we want to uh, clear the cart, we have this endpoint clear.js. If we hit this endpoint, uh, our cart will be cleared. So let's see this in action. So here I have clear.js and uh, let's refresh the page. Now let's go to uh, cart.js and uh, refresh the page because previously we hit this endpoint and now if we uh, get uh, the data, cart data from here, we will get an empty uh, empty cart because uh, from this hand, endpoint we cleared all the cart. So let's refresh and here you can see we have no item in the cart. Okay guys, so now we don't have any of the item in the cart. So let's see the most important topic in cart API. If we can also use the section rendering API with the cart API. If we want any of the section to be updated with the new cart data, we can specify the ID of the section. So if we want multiple sections like cart items, cart icon bubble, Ajax cart drawer, we can specify the IDs right here in the sections as comma separated values. After updating the cart, we will get the updated uh, data in that section. So I have uh, explained uh, this in detail. You can check that section rendering API crash course uh, in the YouTube channel. So now let's see how we can use this section rendering API uh, in conjunction with uh, cart API. So uh, while updating the cart, uh, we can specify the sections comma separated values so now let's see if we want to update uh, this cart bubble right here we can uh, specify the id of this uh, cart icon bubble right here we can see in the code uh, this is a separate section this is a separate section cart icon bubble and uh, this section is preparing an html structure depending upon the cart item count if we specify this section id into the so if we specify this uh, section ID into the Ajax request of cart API uh, we will uh, get this updated section uh, with the updated cart uh, cart query so let's see this in action and uh, when we add any of the item into the cart uh, we will specify uh, the sections in the form data let's uh, specify the sections let's specify the ID of this section so now we have uh, specified the ID of uh, this section a cart icon bubble into the cart api so let's see this in action make a request and you can see right here uh, in the response we are getting the sections so in the sections we are getting the uh, cart icon bubble and we also have this updated updated html let's parse this uh, text into the html we will be using this function to parse the text into html uh, this function is using a dom parser and uh, parsing the HTML from string then getting the inner HTML of uh, dot Shopify section so let's see this in action so when we add this item into the cart uh, we will be getting updated HTML of this section in the response so using this request as we specify this section uh, into the sections property of form data uh, we will be getting updated section HTML and uh, using this function uh, we will be getting updated HTML of uh, this section and uh, using this function uh, we will parse the text of the updated section into html and uh, then we will uh, update the inner html of this updated section into the inner html of the current uh, section in the dom so uh, let's see this connection press enter and you can see right here uh, we have uh, the updated cart icon bubble section right here so if we uh, make this request again we will see uh, this quantity will be updated to three this this section is updated instantly we can get any updated section uh, using this property after updating the card we can get updated html of any of the section in the page that is using this some card data like uh, this card icon bubble or the card drawer and then update the section in the dome uh, with the up updated card data I hope uh, this tutorial helps you to learn uh, some basics of Ajax card uh, in Shopify. If you like the video, please thumbs up and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.